So what they did, they devised the plan. We got to get rid of him. Because he's dealing with our authority. He's dealing with our money. <laughs> we can't have it. He's got to go. So what they did is they devised this plan. And what they did, they sent the Pharisees and the Heronians to Jesus to try to trick him into an answer where they could get him arrested. Now the peculiar thing about that was the Pharisees and the Heronians didn't deal with each other. But they were so sick of Jesus, they banded together. You know, the, the Pharisees, they, they were the religious sect. And the Peronians, they were the upper echelon crust. They were the folk with the money. They banded together. We hope you really of this dude. He got to go there. So they asked Jesus a question. He said, if he answered it this way, we got it. If he answered it that way, we got it. Jesus didn't even concern himself with the question. He said, uh, bring me some money. Bring me a denarius. Why, why y'all trying to trick me? Amen. Okay, I got something for you. <laughs> they bought him a Daenerys, and on this Daenerys was the picture of Caesar. They said, Jesus said, that's his picture, give it to him. It, it belongs to him. You give to him what belongs to him. But give to God what belongs to God. So, render. I said, okay, Lord, render. Mm. Render means to give, to deliver, to pay, a payment. It's something to be made. You've given this to someone. Now, in our lives, we pay the season too. Amen. Amen. When we go to work, we make that money. Yeah. Yeah. But we have to give him what he's asking for for us to get paid. Amen. 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 When we go to school, we have to study and pass them tests to get them grades. Like, Amen, somebody. Come on. Amen. We have to pay taxes now, don't we? And what happens if we don't pay those taxes? That all belongs to Caesar. Okay? But I said, now God, what belongs to you? What belongs to you, God? What, what must we give? Romans says, present your body. A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is my, your reasonable service. Amen. So God wants us. He wants all of us. Okay? Not just when we feel like we want to do something. He wants us at all times. Yes. Amen? Amen? In 2 Corinthians, it, it says, be, be cheerful. Be a cheerful giver. So when we give unto God, God wants to cheer you, not be grudging. If you're giving it begrudgingly, you really shouldn't even give it. Amen? 
God loves a cheerful giver, and he loves us to serve him with joy and with gladness. So anything we can do for God, we should be glad about it. Can somebody say amen? amen. What shall I render? You know, it's uh, some benefits to render your body unto God. It's benefits to it. When we work and go to work, even though the world is paying us, we have to give God a tip. My pastor taught me in the triple T's. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Talking about ties, talent, and time. Okay? The benefit of paying your time if you paying your tithes is that God will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive it all. Amen? Amen. But not only that, he will rebuke the devour. Hallelujah. For your sake. When the devil comes to eat of your flesh, God will step in right on time. Right on time, he'll do it. Won't he do it? That's a benefit from paying the time. Amen. Not, not only that, your talents. All these talents come from above. Let whether they be spiritual or natural. Amen. In the natural, you might be a good organizer. You might be a good worker, a hard worker. You might be uh, pay attention to details. Those are all gifts that God gives us. And we can use them in the natural. Amen? Amen. You might be very observant. You might be optimistic, spontaneous. All of that are gifts from God. Your spiritual gifts. God gives everyone gifts. Amen? Some, he gives the word knowledge. Some, he gives the word of wisdom. Some, he gives them the gifts of healing. Some, he gives speaking in tongues. Others, the interpretation of tongues. Others, the gift of heal. These are all gifts that we can use to the glory of God. Because he wants our body. Amen. A living sacrifice. Yes. Joyously. Don't, don't, don't use your talents begrudgingly. Yes. Don't, don't say, I always am the one. <laughs> Keep your talent. Keep it, because you didn't give it with joy. Because what you do is not for man, it's for God. Amen? When, when, whatever you do, do it with joy. Hallelujah. Do it with gladness. I was glad when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. Let's go. Come on. I might not feel like getting here when I being here when I get up. But by the time I get here, I'm ready to praise God. I'm ready to worship. Amen. Another thing. Time. You have to spend.
spend time with God. Yeah. You got to pray. Yeah. In season and out of season. When you don't feel like praying. Yeah. Serve others. When you serve others, in your mind, remember, you're serving God. To God be the glory. So it don't matter who do what. Okay? It don't matter. Because you're making God happy. When you do it with a heart of joy and gladness, you're making God happy. Amen? Because you're doing it unto him. Now, God is awesome. If I mind, that's part of the body. If we keep it staying on God, He will keep us in perfect peace. It don't matter what the world doing. The world is blowing itself up, is killing one another and themselves, is killing them with drugs, alcohol, they doing all kinds of things in the world. But in the midst, if you keep your mind stayed on God, we laying back tranquil. Tranquil, because we have committed our whole body to God. Our mind, our heart, our souls, our hands, our lips, wherever God wants, here it is. And do it with joy. Not that you feel as though you're obligated. Because that's not what God wants. He wants our love. He wants us to Love him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our lips. We can put our lips in there. Yeah. How do we do that? By giving God praise. Amen. The sacrifice of praise. It's a sacrifice. Yeah. But guess what? It's our reasonable yeah. service. It's our reasonable service to pray. We owe God a prayer. Amen. You, and nobody should have to pump us up for nothing if we opened our eyes. Amen. Because God did. Yes. And we should be thankful for it. Yes. We should. God of heaven and earth. Most powerful God. And all he wants you to do is love him like he loved you. Hallelujah. Amen. What's the sacrifice? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants you to praise him with yes. your hands. Hallelujah. Pray. Yes. You don't have to get up and do what I do, but I don't have to do what you do. But do something. Do something. Yes. Just don't sit there and act like you are in it. Because God is too good for that. I mean, you could be here today and gone and miss the opportunity to praise Him. Hallelujah. The, the, uh, Hebrew says, no, I'm sorry, Psalm says, clap your hands, all you people. Can I get a clap for the God? Because he's worth He wants you to use your voice. Yeah. Psalm says, shout unto God. Yeah. Shout with a voice of triumph. Because he has given us the victory. Amen. Amen. He has given us the victory. Yeah. Do it with, I mean, don't give it up. Oh man, we gotta get up again. <laughs> oh, I'm 
tie. God don't want that. Keep that. Okay? Keep that. Because he's not even receiving it. He's not receiving that. Keep that. He wants you to use your feet. Dance before the Lord. When David and them were victorious, David danced so he had to tie his stuff up on because it was coming on. Amen? Amen? Those that you that can, dance before the Lord because he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. And God loves music. I need you, mama. Give me some music. Because God loves to praise the Lord with the trump, with the sound, loud sound and sound. All the instruments. He loves praise. He loves our praise. Guess what the benefit of it is? He inhabits them. God coming down. Oh, my, 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 my.
Doesn't know Jesus in the parking of this town. 